Hey what's up guys, Mashine here, come back with a brand new video of you guys and today we're going to be talking about the Stockholm 2021 sale. Now you'll notice this is the second video that's coming up and that's because in the first one I decided to leak my address and the guy who put that in the comments is going to be receiving a little gift on me because that is completely my fault and I am very thankful he, uh, he pointed that one out to me. So we're going to go over this one a little bit more smoothly here. We're going to be talking a little bit more in depth. This is also going to be viewing as kind of an investment guide almost. We're not going to be talking too specific about investments here, but we're going to be looking at our capsules. First up, we got the Legends capsule. Now this one, you've got your Navi Gold. It's going to be really interesting in my opinion to see how low in price these do gold because this navi gold right now is definitely still expensive because this update hasn't been out for very long but i mean 35 bucks it's already dropped a pretty significant amount but you can see it was sitting not that high i mean 46 50 ish bucks and obviously at the start it was pretty expensive so it's definitely interesting to see here. I'm really glad these stickers are going to be very cheap though. No, I didn't want a sale because it's going to have some pretty detrimental impacts to the market, but I mean, these are some pretty sick hollows. I mean, looking at the Vitality hollow here, even if you're not a big Vitality fan or you're not a big Navi fan, even like this Furia hollow, it looks absolutely amazing. And I am so glad that these stickers are going to become very widely available. Now what I am doing is I am stocking up. I've obviously opened some up and I pulled one gold. It was worth like six bucks. It was uh, Pain Gaming. That's who it was. It was Pain Gaming down here. It was this gold. It was cool and all, but honestly, I think I'm going to be much happier this way. Now, if you don't know what I'm doing, I am kind of using the marketable against Valve here. So these capsules are going to be marketable December 7th at two o'clock. What I am doing is making sure that I am there so I can list these right away and they're going to be selling for more than 25 cents at that time in my opinion. This is something really easy and really important to do whenever we get a big update now because this is the easiest profiting method out there. Obviously I could go ahead and open these up and try to pull a Nico Gold like I was because Nico Gold is going for $150, $175 at this point and it's still up there. I mean, it's definitely something I want, but I think this option is much better because I am going to be able to kind of easily profit into the market. I'm not going to be forcing myself in kind of like the other way. That really is not my favorite method because you're just fighting with everyone else to kind of scam the buy orders. Now it's not anything malicious or anything like that, but honestly this way is going to be much more fun and it's going to be much easier. It's going to be much more stress free in my opinion. Now if we head on back over here, we'll see that the souvenir tokens are not on sale. This is something I mentioned in the other video, but since that other video is gone, we have to do, <laughs> go ahead and come on through here. But obviously we've got nothing here, nothing here that'll dox me. <laughs> almost went two for two but we have got nothing here that is going to be getting a discount no souvenir tokens getting a discount and obviously the pass which i'm kind of surprised it didn't is not going to be receiving a discount this is potentially an investment option it's not going to be for me and i think it's honestly a waste of your capital if you're buying into this with the goal of making more money it's not smart it's not going to be very successful there's going to be way too many people investing into this for what it's worth i think there's going to be a probably about a 10 to 1 amount of investors versus people looking to buy in and it's just going to be absolutely terrible you're not going to be making your money back and at the end of the day you might be able to buy this cheaper in three months down the road because people want to get out compared to now now moving on into our player autographs here obviously we've got some really cool autographs but it's definitely going to be really interesting to see how the market reacts to these. Now, I didn't pick up any of these capsules, and I did that for a reason. I felt like the team ones had a lot of demand, and I would be able to do what I wanted to without being held back, just because there are at least eight options in all of these. But when we're looking at our autograph capsules, like this one, there's five options. It's all of Navi, obviously. And then we've got seven teams here, but honestly... I don't see it too much demand for either of those, and I honestly avoided them 
because I wanted to make sure I could get these stickers easily without trying to sell and getting stuck. I think that's one thing I'm really trying to avoid at this point is trying to kind of build up an inventory here of all these stuff and then when the time comes I can't sell it for really a significant amount of profit here. My goal on all of these is to double my money. I think I can sell these in a week time for probably around 50 to 40 ish cents. I mean 40 to 60 cents is going to be my range. We're going to see a pretty significant drop down of the people who are holding on to them. But after that, I think there might be a little bit of money I'm able to scrape out. And honestly, I think it's going to be worth it in my opinion. But other than that, there's not really too much to cover at this point. We're not going to talk about investing into these specifically. We're going to talk about not doxing ourselves today. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.